Today, we are going to be adding and subtracting multiples of 10. The learning target is, I can add and subtract multiples of 10 using base 10 blocks. Remember back to first grade, when you used a hundreds chart to find multiples of 10 and add and subtract multiples of 10. So if I have on my hundreds chart the number 10, and I add 10, I get 10 plus 10 is 20, 20 plus 10 is 30, 30 plus 10 is 40, and so on. If I have 80 and I subtract 10, I have 80 minus 10 is 70, 70 minus 10 would be 60. So it goes up or down by 10s every time. Today we're going to use base 10 blocks to add and subtract multiples of 10. Let's look at this word problem and think about the three read strategy. The first time we read it, we're going to think about what is the situation. The second time, we're going to think about the quantities. And the third time we read it, we're going to think about questions. Blake has 24 crayons. Susan has 10 more crayons than Blake. How many crayons does Susan have? Well, I'm thinking here that the situation is I have a student with 24 crayons and another student that has 10 more crayons than the first student. And then I need to find how many crayons does Susan have. So Blake has 24 and Susan has 10 more than 24. So that means I would add because I have more. So I'm going to add 10, which is a multiple of 10, to find my answer. Today we're going to use base 10 blocks to add 24 plus 10. So remember, I can represent a tens block with one line, like a tens rod. So if I have 24, I put 10, 20, and then four ones. So that makes 20, one, two, three, four. Now I wanna add a 10. So I'm gonna add one more tens rod, and I don't have any ones. So to get my answer, I count all my tens, I have three tens and four ones. So four ones, three tens. So that means that Susan has 34 crayons. All right, let's look at another one. If I have the number 18 and I want to subtract 10, I can use my tens blocks to figure this out. So if I make 18, I have one 10 and eight ones, and then if I add or subtract 10, I'm going to take away one of those 10. So I only have one 10, so I would take that one away, and my answer would be eight ones. Let's look at another one. 21 plus 30. 30 is a multiple of 10. It has three tens. 21, if we break that one apart, we have two tens and one one. If I'm adding, I'm going to add one, two, three tens, and I don't have any ones. So to find the answer, I'm going to count how many tens I have and how many ones. So I have one, two, three, four, five tens and one one. So 21 plus 30 is 51. Let's look at the next one. If I have two multiples of 10, so I have 70, which is a multiple of 10, and I have 40, which is a multiple of 10, and I'm going to subtract. Watch what happens. In 70, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tens. I don't have any ones. I want to take away 40. So I'm going to take away 4 of those tens. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm left with 3 tens, which would equal 30. So if you notice, when you subtract a multiple of 10 from a multiple of 10, what you're going to end up with is 7 minus 4 is 3, with your 0 would be 30. 
So today we looked at, and you learned, you can add and subtract multiples of 10 using base 10 blocks. Now it's your turn to try. Remember, you can always go back and watch this video again and pause it if you need help. You can also reach out and ask your teacher. 